guys so I just started my new old job that I came back to and I wanted to talk about the connection of your mental health to your career, job, work, whatever it is, maybe even study if you are studying. Because sometimes you do struggle with mental health and sometimes you can take some time off as I was lucky to do and sometimes you cannot and you have to still make money and do your job and you know, you have to be able to be successful even though you have uh, some obstacles like struggling with mental health. I think that it can be tricky especially with 9 to 5 jobs because in this case you cannot go home if you feel uh, poorly or if your boss is not as nice or whatever, maybe they will not just let you skip days if you don't feel well because with mental health sometimes you cannot help it maybe uh, you have a bipolar disorder and then you have manias when you are super productive and then you have uh, depressive episodes where you cannot be bothered to just wake up or get up from your bed or even take a shower not even talking about going to a workplace so i think that maybe working from home or like a distant job could be a good idea, although you still need to have a very high level of self-organization for that and I don't think that a lot of people can say that they have it. I think that freelance jobs or this uh, stay-at-home jobs can be pretty awesome, but uh, for me I feel really way better that when I am uh, sort of motivated by some other people and not only myself, because when I just stay at home I tend to procrastinate way more than rather than when I have like a set schedule. So in my case I'm really lucky because I still have to go to work every day but it is like a more or less floating schedule so you can come whenever you want and go whenever you want. No one is uh, sitting there like writing down the times when you came and left which is cool and if you feel not so good you can just say that mm, I will take like a home office today and not go to work which is amazing but you have to still like kind of have this self-motivation and this inner structure that will allow you to still be productive even though you can you know like slack it off sometimes so i found out like several tips to make your work life more like fruitful and productive based on my own mistakes and i have made a lot of them in my life only this year i changed three or four jobs i think uh, because I moved countries a lot and obviously like I had different jobs in different countries So I worked from home when I was absolutely sick and couldn't like bother to do anything I was a freelance translator uh, Then I worked as um, a marketing specialist And now I am doing my PhD which is a job because basically I do not really study I just like go to work and do my stuff um, and yeah, so I've made a lot of mistakes in the past that made my work life way worse than it could have been. So I want to share with you some of my discoveries and maybe they will help you. And I will also be very glad if you guys share your experience with jobs down in the comments because I love hearing from you. So please let me know how it was with you and jobs. So first of all, I think that it's very important to have a routine. Uh, so wake up every day at the same time, have breakfast, like do some exercise or like commute to work, lunch times. You need to have sort of a structure in your day because it will help you stay motivated in a way and when it becomes a habit it's not that hard anymore. So you just do the same thing over and over and over again and although I do not like routines and I prefer to like mix things up a little bit, sometimes it is really helpful to just have like a set routine for your everyday life because it makes the process way easier, trust me. You also need to schedule like fun, so you need to schedule a couple of hours of free time, just time for yourself every day in order to stay sane and stay healthy. 
uh, maybe go out with your friends or go for a walk on your own or maybe it's just sitting at home and watching some movies whatever makes you feel good you need to schedule that into your day as well because if you put too much pressure on yourself and if you only have schedules of stuff that you need to do and that you don't really enjoy then your mental health will suffer so you need to also schedule the things that make you feel good and leave some time aside for spontaneity if you are a person who needs that like I am so number two is balance balance is so crucial in every part of our lives it is really hard especially if you have a mental health issue especially if you have BPD you are so in balance in like almost every area of your life so I think that it's very important to find some kind of a middle ground so not being too hard on yourself but also not being too like easy on yourself and not procrastinating all the time beating yourself up because you are not doing something because it only puts you into more stress and uh, you are even less productive this way and this is the mistake that I made in my previous uh, time when I was working here I used to think that everybody is smarter than me and everyone is working harder than I am. Let's be honest, no one can work like eight hours straight without any distraction. So we all like go to YouTube and watch like kitten videos. We, we do distract ourselves anyway. And when I was doing that, when I got tired and I went to internet and like started procrastinating there, I always thought like, oh, I'm such a bad person and I got paid for doing this. but. I am not really being productive and so on and so forth and this actually put me in such a bad mood that I became even less productive so please even if you like procrastinated a little bit just make sure that your next decision will be good that you will work hard like the next hour or the next day or that you will like stay half an hour more or something like that but don't punish yourself because nobody is perfect and people do make mistakes or they do like slack a little bit so it's all fine uh it's all okay and please do not like be as hard on yourself as i used to be on myself number three which on in my opinion is very important is try to make friends at work i'm not saying that you need to like spend all your free time with these people probably you don't want to because you already see them like most of your day but just be friendly make friends make good connections to your colleagues and don't be afraid to ask for help or ask them questions go and ask somebody to show you how to do something because i used to think that i'm such a burden if i ask people for help or advice or whatever i would wait until everything is absolutely ruined before i went and asked somebody to help me but it is not helpful like you will waste so much more time by this rather than just going there if you have a problem and asking your boss or like your colleague or anyone to help you or to give you advice because people really don't mind helping other people and they even feel good about it so it's like basic psychology when people help you they start liking you more number four is to keep a schedule and to write down like every morning or in the beginning of every week write down everything that you want to do like a maximum plan and a minimum plan so what you absolutely need to do and what would be great if you did it but maybe you will not be able to like finish it all it just gives you so much satisfaction to cross things out that you have already done and i think that it motivates you to do more and more and more so you can write down even the smallest tasks and also prioritize so if you are a morning person then maybe do the things that are harder for you in the beginning of the day and then leave the like smaller and less challenging tasks to the evening and vice versa if you are an evening person number six is working on your self-esteem and this is huge it used to be huge for me because i used to think that i'm occupying someone else's place that i'm not that interested in what i'm doing that uh, other people are so much better than me and i have no right to be there and i was constantly filled with shame and disgust towards myself and I felt misplaced and it's just it's holding you back and it doesn't give you anything you are only beating yourself up no one else thinks this way you have the exact same right to be there if you got hired if you got admitted to a job you have the same exact right to be there as everybody else and anybody else so please don't make the same mistake as I did and don't think that you don't deserve to be 
there or anything like that because you do and you are a valuable human and you absolutely are as appreciated there as anyone else and the last thing which is not really an advice but like a question I'm not sure if you need or don't need to tell, for example, your boss about your mental health issues if you have some. I think that if they are severe, then it's only fair and honest to tell your boss or your closest colleagues about it because maybe if you feel bad and if your boss is like an understanding and nice person, they generally can like give you days off because of that. I'm not saying that you need to like manipulate your colleagues and your um, boss just saying that you feel poorly with your mental health when you really don't, which I definitely not recommend doing because it's just not right. Um, I'm just saying that maybe if you are in a crisis or if you are like depressed or something, probably you should talk to someone at work, like to a friendly face, uh, because usually people are way more understanding than we expect of them. And I think that even telling like your, um, you know, like your roommates or your um, project manager or whatever, just tell them that I have this and that and if they are like nice people they will probably understand and cut you some slack but I think that it's like a personal decision that you need to make for yourself because everybody is different, every boss is different, every job is different so I think that this is a decision that I cannot make for you and you will have to make for yourself. I'm lucky enough to have the best boss ever and he is amazing and he knows about my stuff and he's okay with that and he gave me the time off like as much time as I needed and he always offers help and asks if he can do anything to make me feel better so it's like a dream boss I'm telling you I don't know what I did to deserve this kind of treatment and this kind of a boss but yeah I'm super lucky and I'm super excited to start again and I hope that it will be way better this time while I will be applying this advice that I'm giving you here to my own life. I wish you guys a very, very nice weekend. Thank you so much for watching my videos. I love you so, so much. I feel so grateful for every comment and like and every like piece of communication that we get together. And I really, really, really thank you for watching my videos. Love you so much, be nice humans, and see you in the next video. Goodbye.